I remember everything about that day. I had been serving as a priest before God, and I was chosen to burn incest in the temple. I knew I would be chosen even before it happened. I had felt the fear, the hope, rising unnamed in my chest all morning. I can smell the incense even now, remembering. I can hear the prayers of the worshipers outside like it was yesterday. Then a light, a man, yet not a man. I have never been more terrified in all of my life. The angel knew my name. He knew my Elizabeth's name. He told me of our future son. As the angel spoke, I looked down at my hands. They were old, weathered, worn, wrinkled. I remember, remember my wife's tears on my fingertips the last time I wiped her face, praying as I had prayed so many times before that God would give us a child, begging him. I remember as the angel spoke, spoke his promises, all the years of my heartbreak, my failure, God's silence. The angel said, not only would we have a son, but that our son would be great, that he would lead our people back to God, that he would prepare a path for the one we had waited so long for. It was too much for my heart to bear to remember how much waiting there had been, how much disappointment. How can I be sure of this, I asked the angel, full of doubt, full of fear. These were the last words that I said until I held him in my arms, my son, my John. John lived his whole life in the same manner that he had come into mind. He made a path in the wilderness. He made way for the promised one. In the temple that day, God found me in the wilderness of my doubt, my broken heart, my weary hope, and he made a path. The glory of the Lord was revealed in my darkness. The heart of God was displayed. The promise of God made true.